Well, it sure seemed like last winter we spent more time digging dirt than we did snow. So are we going to see any actual snow this winter? In this video, we're going to go over what we know and what we don't know about this coming winter. Hi, my name is Chris Malcolm. And my name is Zach Tolby. We're meteorologists at the National Weather Service in Reno. Context matters, and going into this winter, we're struggling through the third year in a row of below normal precipitation. The drought monitor shows the results of that with nearly 60% of California and 12% of Nevada in the most serious possible drought status, noted in the maroon color. Just this week, in fact, the level of Lake Tahoe has dropped to its natural rim, bringing its reservoir storage down to zero. Just about any weather station around the area has accumulated significant precipitation deficits since the generous winter of 2010 and 2011. We'll use Tahoe City as an example here. What we did is add up all the actual precipitation since October 2011, and that's what you see in the green line, compared to what we normally should have had in the brown line. Tahoe City, along with most other stations around the area, are essentially missing an entire year's precipitation. In fact, some areas in California are missing multiple years of precipitation. The shading in this graphic shows that some areas are missing more than a year and a half of rainfall over the past three years. There's been a lot of talk about El Nino returning and bringing us a wet winter. Well, just like most things in this science, it's more complicated than that. First, here's a crash course on El Nino. El Nino is a situation where unusually warm water pools in the tropical Pacific Ocean between Tahiti and Peru. This warm water is so expansive that it actually impacts the jet stream and the storm track in the mid-latitudes during the winter. During strong El Ninos, the storm track favors Southern California into the desert southwest, bringing them more frequent storms, while fewer storms impact the Pacific Northwest. Of course, notice that our part of the world in the Sierra and Western Nevada is caught in the middle. So to get to the point, while not guaranteed, El Nino is likely to return for this winter. We've got about a 65% confidence of that occurring. However, most of our projections suggest that the El Nino will be on the weak side where the water temperatures are just slightly above normal. Nothing like the mega El Nino of 1997. And most importantly, as we'll elaborate on in part two, El Nino has very little correlation with wintertime precipitation in the Sierra and Western Nevada. Now let's take a look at the Climate Prediction Center forecast for the end of fall and this coming winter. For the month of November, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting above average temperatures for all of the western U.S. The precipitation forecast has no favored outcome for the month of November in the Sierra. For the winter months of December, January, and February, the CPC has all of the western U.S. favored for above average temperatures. Unfortunately, these warmer temperatures would indicate an increased chance for storms with higher snow levels. However, these temperature outlooks do not take into account the valley inversions we get in western Nevada that can keep temperatures cold for days or even weeks at a time. As for precipitation, during the winter, CPC has the Sierra and Western Nevada forecast for EC, or equal chances. This does not mean normal or average. It means we have an equal chance of above or below normal precipitation. We could have a wet winter or a dry winter. Unfortunately, there is no strong signals in the atmosphere or the ocean right now telling us which direction our winter will go. I know, I know. We always see equal chances, or we don't know how much it's going to snow this winter. Join us for part two in this series, Why is it so challenging to forecast the winter in the Sierra Nevada? As a resident of the drought-stricken Sierra, and as a skier who moved here for the snow, I'm hoping for at least an average winter, if not more. Average winters in the Sierra are great, and we haven't seen one in a while. If you enjoyed this presentation and would like to see more interesting and timely weather information, visit weather.gov Reno and like us on Facebook and Twitter at NWS Reno. Thanks for listening.